Hey fellas, me Trapper here, and it is that time of the year again, and that is time to get your traps and your gear and your equipment ready for um, round two for the next season. Uh, it's the first of August, or not really the first, but the first week of August here. I'm out on the river, and it's about 105, 108 degrees heat index, so I'm up in the shade taking a little break here. But um, this year I've done a little bit, uh, something a little bit different as far as uh, my traps and trap prep, and I thought I'd share it with you. Because so far it seems to be uh, working out fairly well, and it's something you may want to consider. That is um, a way that I'm painting my traps. Now, being a water trapper, uh, I'm a big believer in painting and dipping traps. In the past, I've used uh, Formula One uh, Speed Dip, and it's sold by uh, SnareOne.com. And I've always had really good results with Formula One. Uh, but it is kind of expensive, and um, you have to do you do have to mail order it, and um, so I decided to do something that I've um, heard other trappers talk about, and that's use Rust-Oleum paint. So the technique is very, very simple. Um, I took oil-based Rust-Oleum paint. I took a flat brown color. That's the color that I wanted. And I mixed it uh, with equal parts of acetone. So uh, one quart paint, one quart acetone. I mix it up. Uh, that thins the paint out a little bit. Uh, I put it in a big uh, Tupperware, not Tupperware, but a uh, Rubbermaid uh, tote type container. Make sure it's big enough to hold your biggest traps. In my case, uh, that's the MB1216. Um, so I had to make sure I had something big enough to do that. And basically, you put uh, some traps in there and then pick it up, swirl it around. Make sure that your trap is uh, covered. Uh, fish it out with a piece of bent wire and hang it up uh, on, on the fence to dry, to drip dry. And uh, so I want to show you a picture of uh, some of the traps that I started out with. You can see they're rusty, they're muddy, dirty, and uh, all you got to do is uh, pressure wash them off. Uh, you just want to get all the uh, mud and the dirt off and uh, make sure that they have a good coating of uh, rust, light rust, so that the paint will adhere and it stick. Uh, you don't want to do it on fresh traps that haven't been degreased or anything. But uh, after they're done, I want you to take a look at the results. And this is a rock hard finish. This stuff, this Rust Oleum oil base leaves on there. Uh, it's a beautiful finish. Uh, it coats and covers thoroughly. Um, I am, so far, I'm very happy with this. I've got a control job that starts up tomorrow. Uh, and these traps will be going on that control job, so I'll get a good look at how they stand up to uh, heat, humidity, uh, hot water, and uh, hopefully get scratched up by uh, catching beavers. So if you're looking for something um, simple uh, and quick, something that you don't have to mail order to um, treat your traps, try Rust-Oleum paint and acetone. Um, one part to one part each does great for um, conibears bears and footholds. And I'm going to try a, a 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 dilution for my snares. The reason that I'm going to dilute it more for snares is I want to make sure nothing gunks up or clogs up the uh, snare locks. And after you do this, you want to make sure that you test fire your traps and make sure that paint hadn't um, bound up any of the bolts or the pans or anything like that. You know, work them a little bit. Oh, one other tip, you um, might want to put a small nail, a finishing nail between the jaws of your footholds to make sure that the jaws aren't tightly shut and that lets the inside of the jaws get coated. So anyway, hope this was useful. Uh, make sure you got your stuff ready to go. The season will be here before you know it. We'll see you next time.